Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting up the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time, subscribe. Yeah, like and share. And if you're already a subscriber, please um, appreciate your comments and your support and your loyalty and your emails. Um, yeah, today I decided to talk about a video that's going around, talking about Caribbean fruit. Um, mostly they're talking about fruit in St. Lucia. I'm not quite sure who's produced the video, but it could be quite alarming for um, people watching it. Now, it was sent to me by um, a black person, but I can't imagine that it is for black people. I can only assume it's for white people. The reason why I say that is because if you're raised in the Caribbean or you're raised in Africa and or even in Asia and you, you're used to eating your fruits like mango and stuff, you'd be dead already if you followed this video. So that is the reason why I'm thinking, is it for white people? Do white people have less resilience to Caribbean fruit? You know, do they have they got some kind of resistance to it? So, yeah, I'm going to show you the video and then I'm going to let you know the health benefits. In other words, I'm going to counteract what it says. Five most dangerous fruits in the Caribbean. Number five. The star fruit, also known as the five finger or carambola fruit, is a citric fruit that has a deadly liquid substance. If you eat too much of it, it will live a poisonous liquid in your stomach that will affect your body's main organs, such as the heart, the kidneys, the lungs, the liver and the brains. Though it is responsible for many stomach illness, only a small percentage of fatal if proper medical treatment are given. The mortality rate for untreated victims can vary from case to case, depending upon the amount of liquid devoured by the individual which can lead to death. From 2001 to 2018 this fruit has killed over 65 people. So don't eat too much of it. Number 4. The sugar apple, also known as sweet sip, is often considered to be the most dangerous fruit in St. Lucia. Its pulp consists mostly of powerful neurotoxins which induce muscle paralysis. Clinically, its pulp contains presynaptic and postsynaptic neurotoxins, which generally affect the nerve endings near the synaptic cleft of the brain. Due to the fact that sugar apple pulp contains many presynaptic neurotoxins, patients who has eaten it will often not respond to medication because once paralysis has developed it is not reversible. This fruit causes an estimated 5,000 fatalities per year in St. Lucia alone. There is a 70-80% to 80 mortality rate in cases where there is no possible or poor and ineffective treatment, for example, no use of mechanical ventilation, low quantities of medication, poor management of possible infection. This fruit, the sugar apple, is often referred to as the fruit of death, and its pulp can kill a human being in less than an hour. One of the deadliest fruit on the planet, its paralyzing substances causes hemorrhaging in blood vessels and muscle tissues. From 2001 to 2018 it has killed approximately 30,000 people in the Caribbean. So don't eat too much of it. Number 3. The papaya, also known as pawpaw or pawpaw, produces one of the most excruciatingly cancer of all the cancer. Internal bleeding is common. Diarrhea, blistering and necrosis may appear relatively quickly as well when you eat the fruit. The papaya is tempting, it's very tasty but a very dangerous fruit by nature and when eaten, it lets go toxic fumes in the stomach, causes lots of sweating, and knocks you unconscious in the blink of an eye. This fruit is responsible for more human fatalities in St. Lucia than any other fruit in St. Lucia, causing an estimated 25,000 fatalities annually. This deadly fruit, the pawpaw, inhabits Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean and kills victims with a potent mixture of neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolysins and myotoxins. Interestingly, this fruit has killed people from different sizes, from child to adult. So don't eat too much of it. Number 2. The avocado, also known as pear in the Caribbean, is often considered to be the most dangerous fruit in St. Lucia. Its components consists mostly of powerful neurotoxins which induce muscle paralysis. Clinically, 
Its components contains presynaptic and postsynaptic neurotoxins, which generally affect the nerve endings near the synaptic cleft of the brain. Due to the fact that avocado pulp contains many presynaptic neurotoxins, patients eat they will often not respond to medication because once paralysis has developed it is not reversible. This fruit causes an estimated 10,000 fatalities per year in St. Lucia alone. Wondering which fruit can bring down a 500-pound human being? The avocado, or pear, delivers enough neurotoxins to kill a healthy human, as well as about 50% of the animals who eat it. The avocado is the Caribbean's most dangerous fruit. So don't eat too much of it. Number 1. Mangoes is a fruit, but its unpredictability, very dangerous, and lethal poison potency make it very dangerous. This fruit is one of the fastest killing fruit in the Caribbean, and mortality rates for those who eat it are very high. In the Caribbean alone, mangoes are responsible for an estimated 620,000 human fatalities annually. However, because it ranges from almost all the Caribbean islands it is believed to cause more human fatalities every year than any other fruit. In drier regions in the Caribbean, such as the St. Vincent and St. Kitts and Nevis, mangoes inflict up to 90% of all human deaths. The rate of envenomation is over 80%. Mangoes also produces a particularly painful death. Envenomation results in local symptoms as well as severe systemic symptoms that may prove fatal. Local symptoms include swelling and intense pain, which appear within minutes of eating the fruit. In very bad cases the swelling may extend up the entire affected limb within 12 to 24 hours and blisters form on the skin dot of the more dangerous systemic symptoms. Hemorrhage and coagulation defects are the most striking. Hematemesis, melina, hemoptysis, hematoria and epistaxis also occur and may lead to hypovolemic shock. Almost all patients develop onagoria or anuria within a few hours to as late as six days post-death. In some cases, kidney dialysis is necessary due to acute renal failure, ARF, but this is not often caused by hypotension. It is more often the result of intravascular hemolysis, which occurs in about half of all cases. In other cases, ARF is often caused by disseminated intravascular coagulation. This fruit, mangoes, which inhabits the Caribbean, doesn't possess the strongest of substances, but is responsible for more human deaths annually than any other fruit partly because it's often found in populated areas. So don't eat too much of it. You know what I find, you know what I find a bit contradictory? She's saying how poison it is and how it's causing all these deaths. And then she says to don't eat too much of it. Why doesn't she say don't eat it at all? You know, I think that's a bit, I mean, I tried to find something on all the deaths it was causing and putting it up and I couldn't find anything. Um, there's one of them that says, you know, it can affect your liver. But let me just read out what I found. I just thought it was a bit very, very strange. Unless they're talking about St. Lucia mainly, but unless they're injecting those fruits with something, I, I, I don't understand that the fruits that people have been eating for years, especially indigenous people, and even like, you know, when we go for holidays, you eat them, nothing happens to you. So why all of a sudden they're so dangerous? I'm baffled. Anyway, um, this just says, um, and my disclaimer is that all things in moderation, I think whatever you eat, if you overeat it, it can be dangerous. My having said that, I remember I bought a box of 12 mangoes and I scoffed the lot. They weren't my big, big ones, but you know those sweet little Julie mango? <laughs> a nice boy. Don't tell me about my mangoes and eat them in moderation. But anyway, the sugar apple, which they say is the deadliest fruit on the planet and the most dangerous fruit in St. Lucia, causing muscle paralysis, Victims do not respond to medication and affects nerve endings and causes hemorrhaging. And there's a cause of 5,000 fatalities per year in St. Lucia. So the pulp can kill a human being in less than an hour. It's called the fruit of death and is responsible for 30 deaths in the Caribbean. So the sugar apple, which is the same, um, looking at the health website. The sugar apple, also known as sweet sop, is the edible fruit of Anona quamosa, 
a small, well-branched shrub native to the tropical regions of South America and West Indies. Its high vitamin and mineral contents, along with the unique sweet taste, make it a highly popular. It's make it highly popular, especially in the tropics. It's also known as custard apple. Benefits is extremely good for healthy hair and healthy skin. It helps to moisturise the skin and also acts as an anti-aging property. Nutritional benefits, excellent source of fibre, manganese, vitamin C and a good source of vitamin B6. Mangoes. Um, according to the video, you'll get a painful death, swelling and intense pain, hemorrhaging, renal failure, um, fastest killing fruit in the Caribbean killing 620,000 people annually. St. Kitts and St. Nevis, St. Vincent are supposed to, call, supposed to cause more fatalities than any other fruit and respond, responsible for more human deaths. Um, from the health website, I'll put the links down below so you can check it out for yourself. I mean, what can I say? Mango is a low-calorie fruit that is high in fiber and is a great source of vitamin A and C. It also contains folate, B6, iron and a little calcium, zinc and vitamin E. Mangoes are a good source of antioxidants containing certain phytochemicals such as gallotannins and mangiferin, which have been studied for their health benefits. Just 80 grams of mango, 2 by 2 inch slices, counts as one of your five a day. This one portion will provide 53 calories, 11 grams of naturally occurring sugar, and just over 2 grams of fibre. So, doesn't say anything about dangerous in that. The papaya is an incredible healthy tropical fruit, according to the website. It's loaded with antioxidants that can reduce inflammation, fight disease and keep you looking young. It lowers cholesterol. Papaya is rich in fiber, vitamin C and antioxidants which prevent cholesterol buildup in your arteries. It helps weight loss, boosts your immunity, good for diabetics, great for your eyes, protects, your, protects against arthritis, improves digestion, helps ease menstrual pain and yet it's got, it's considered, causes excruciation cancer, dangerous and the toxic fumes in the stomach causes internal bleeding. 25,000 fatalities in St. Lucia. I mean, if anybody's from St. Lucia, please let me know if what they're saying is true and what you think it is, because... I haven't heard of it, and definitely I would have heard if those fruits were inedible in Jamaica. I would have heard that. So it'd be interesting to see if this is a, something new that's happening, and therefore people should be concerned about these fruits, or whether this is um, false news, according to Trump. Fake news, he calls it. Because I couldn't find anything. Um, the star fruit contains a deadly liquid substance, leaves a poisonous leaves a poison in your organs. Between two thousand and one and two thousand and eighteen, they claim sixty five people have died from it. The correct name is the carambola fruit. It is extremely low calorie fruit that is rich in dietary fiber, vitamin A, B, and C along with minerals like zinc, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, iron and potassium, among others. Moreover, it has, an, it has high amounts of antioxidants like polyphenolic compounds, quercetin, gallic acid and epicetin. epicetin. Um, 3 grams of fibre, 1 gram of protein, vitamin C, 52% of the RDI, Vitamin B5, 4% of the RDI. Folate, 3% of the RDI. Copper, 6% of the RDI. Potassium, 3% of the RDI. And magnesium, 2% of the regular dose intake. So, star fruit is low in calories but high in fiber and vitamin C is very nutritious considering its low calorie content. 
star fruit may cause this is the one that you have to be careful about. Star fruit may cause adverse effects in some people, mainly due to its high oxalant content. Contains high levels of oxalant, so oxalate. Um, so people with kidney problems should avoid star fruit and its juice or consult with a doctor before trying it. This is the only one that I saw that disclaimer on. Stuff. Yeah, this one didn't say, but even then, it didn't mention kidneys when they were given the warning. It just says leaves a poison in your organs. And then we go to avocado, which I'm sure, even in this country, we all eat it. It's beautiful with your um, guacamole and salads and all sorts. And like she said, we call it pear. Apparently most dangerous in St. Lucia. What is this thing about St. Lucia? Induces muscle paralysis, affects nerve endings, paralysis is not reversible, 10,000 fatalities per year in St. Lucia. And according to the health website, <coughs> avocado is likely safe for most people when the fruit is eaten in food amounts. So it looks like you have to definitely eat avocado in moderation. Avocado is possibly safe when applied to the skin for up to three months. It generally has few side effects. So, <coughs> although one person who used a Pacific avocado oil plus vitamin B12 cream for her, for her psoriasis reported mild itching. So that's using avocado oil, not eating it. Uh, the avocado is rather a unique fruit and is one of the superfoods. While most fruit consists primarily of carbohydrate, avocado is high in healthy fats. Numerous studies show that it has a powerful health benefit. Avocado is incredibly nutritious. They contain more potassium than bananas. Avocado is loaded with heart healthy monosaturated fatty acids. Avocados are loaded with fiber. Eating avocados can lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels. So, you know, you just don't know. You see these videos going around. People might believe it because when I got it, you know, and, you know, I got it on my WhatsApp and all the people saying, is it true? Is it true? So, even though it might sound absolutely ridiculous to me, there might be something new going on and going around that is affecting the fruit, especially in St. Lucia. St. Lucia is the place where, um, you know, that boat is heading, um, the US Navy ship, and, um, you know, all of a sudden St. Lucia's on the map. So we have to be, you know, we have to be vigilant and you have to do your research. I mean, I couldn't find anything about these deaths with the fruit but that doesn't mean they do not exist. But I would really be interested if there's anybody, if anybody from St. Lucia is watching this video to let me know whether or not it's true about these fruits and whether it's just St. Lucia Pacific or whether it's in other Caribbean islands. If anybody else knows about, you know, people dying from eating mangoes and star fruits and all these other kinds of fruits, avocado, please let me know and put a comment down below. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.